friend, but they really appreciate you, like you're a part of their family, and if something's happening, they'll be there for you. It's really about the community. We're all about that. Like, we're, we always have each other's back. Where I'm from, there's really nice and respectful people, and every holiday they will get you something or they will give you a gift as a token of respect. Everybody on the block, they knew each other. We'd go outside, go to the park, and have fun. You could walk down the street, and the pizza guy, if he sees you, he'll walk out for you. It's a place where people do love one another. They're passionate about their sports. We love food here, culture, cuisine. It's a place where people are strong, people have grit and determination. There's some aspects about it where people are sad, where they're downtrodden. But moreover, it is a place where people love Philly. It means something to be from Philly. You want to represent Philly in the right way, knowing that, you know, that's on your back. I've grew up in the same places. I walked the same streets. I did the same things. You know, I feel like every time I'm doing something I'm putting on for Philly, I'm doing it for them. Zaire Franklin, Conwell Middle School. Sometimes you just need people that actually know the school, know the community like Zaire does and someone who's saying, you know what, I'm going to put my money, I'm going to put my value on something that I know is going to make a difference. I heard about Shalisha's Angel from Ms. Green, and she told me that Shalisha's Angel was a program for girls. I wanted to join because I thought I could try something new and it would be aspiring, and I heard that Sayer Franklin was respectful and nice. I have been a part of the Business Academy. When I first went, I thought, like, I didn't know nobody, the kids was gonna be weird, because I'm antisocial. I don't really like being around people, but yeah. But when I got there, I boost my confidence, and I was talking to people, everybody was nice. It made me feel happy, and that we got people coming down at Kizits and helping us plan what we want to do when we get older. We get to see how people work so hard to get where they are today, and that there's always going to be bumps, and you just got to go past that. Like, try your hardest, don't give up. Chalice's Angels is a non-profit organization that focuses on young women from tough areas and impoverished communities with the main goal to just give them opportunities and experiences that they may not have the opportunity to experience in any other way, whether that's group chip to Google headquarters in New York City or meeting the front office of the 76ers. I'm trying to get the young women to see other women professionals that look like them, that are from similar places that they are. Because if you can see it, you can, you can believe it. Just expands your mind, expands your possibility. It gives you hope. Seeing other women like do such good stuff and do what they do so good, it inspires me to be one of those women. If they can do it, that makes me feel like I can do it. I've gone to the Google trip where he took us to New York to go to Google headquarters and you see what their work environment is to see if that might be an a interest to you. I was so happy. Like, I, you would never say to someone, oh, I went to Google. Everybody can be exposed to something, but that's it. It's exposure. Trips like what Zaire presents through the Shalice's Angels organization really allows for that. They know that there's opportunities and options. I wanted giving back to be the first thing that I did once I got to the league. I thought, you know, it would be important for me to kind of create an entity to celebrate my late mother, honor my late grandmother, two women who were just instrumental in my success in my life and my vision and my journey. I lost my mother and my grandmother when I was 16. I immediately went from a house of a house of three to almost living by myself. From there, it was on me to kind of learn the tools to be able to survive as professional athletes. I think it's easy for us to host a football camp. It's easy for us to, you know, go into the sports teams and, and motivate them and inspire them um, because just our presence is an inspiration to those guys. And sometimes the young women are the, are the group that's most overlooked. Myself being raised by women, man, it was just important for me to give back to them. I am from Kensington Park, Philadelphia, born and raised. In a way, it's you're beating the odds. I'm proud because I'm not gonna be one of the people on the streets just slumped over. I'm proud that I can say I beat Kensington in a way. Right here in the heart of Kensington, there's an open air drug market that's going on. And our kids walk through it every day. Uh, they see folks that are struggling with addiction, but yet my young people are resilient. People here, they're a part of a community and they love this community, and it's been overshadowed as a result of what's going on with the drug addiction. We had almost 800 students, 
And as a result of the crime, it's a direct correlation that I now have 120 students. And we've been, we've been flexible. We're very empathetic to the folks that are struggling with addiction, but we really need to be mindful that we need to preserve children and someone needs to advocate for them. And I am that advocate. Erica Green, she does an amazing, amazing, amazing job helping those young women. We took a little bit of a financial literacy turn and just started to teach the kids what it means to run a business, what it means to be a business owner. The message of financial literacy is so important. Everybody needs to know how to manage money. Now, this is something that I feel like as a people continues to put us behind the eight ball. When you finally get some money and then you use it to pay all your bills off, just to get more bills the next month. That's someone who was on welfare, I understand exactly what that's like. The Business Academy for Shalisa's Angels, it's a two-day program, and it's nice because middle schoolers across the city get to participate in the Business Academy. We always have three business owners from the community come in and speak about the challenges of running a business. We was working on a business cafe. We had to get the things we needed, like the chairs, the coffee machine. So we had to count and bounce the money. I came in second place, but it's cool now. As I got older um, and, you know, I was going to college, um, financial literacy was something that I had to learn to myself the hard way, you know, whether that was gas, whether that was getting Chipotle with my, my teammates. I always thought, you know, if I could give back and teach some of the young kids some of the tools that I had to learn, you know, and maybe if I could just give you a helping hand and, and give you these lessons in a better way, maybe you'll have an easier path than I did. I would like to encourage other young ladies, no matter how much a person say you can't do something or no matter how much you doubt yourself, that you can always do it. Like my mom always says, when life gives you lemons, you just take them. In a certain fields, you don't see a lot of women, especially you guys think coding, engineering. But nowadays, because the opportunities certain uh, organizations give, like Solutions Angels, it gives women more power in the long run to do stuff they want to do. Time and energy, those are things that we can't get back. To give that and donate that and spend my time and my love and my smiles and my energy to people and to the community, to me, that's the biggest sacrifice that I could give. And, you know, my mom and my grandmother always taught me to, you know, leave a place better than you found it. For me, whether it's, you know, Indianapolis, whether it's Syracuse or Philadelphia, I just always wanted to positively impact uh, the communities that I was a part of. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shalisa's Angels. Mwah.